Hello, gentlemen. In honor of your retirement, we reached out to some of the kids that you've coached over the years and asked them to film little tributes. And that's what you're about to see here. I know it's just a small percentage of all the lives you've touched, but I hope you enjoy it. Congratulations, boys. Coach Martin, Coach Halberg, Coach Graff, uh, this is Adam Torini. Um, and I just want to first thank you guys and congratulate you guys uh, for your amazing coaching careers. Um, and I just I know that when I think about my high school athletic experience, the track team was by far uh, my favorite, and I know that's uh, in no doubt in, in large part because of your guys's coaching. Um, and when I think about you know the, the the job and the role of coaches and the desire for all coaches is to to motivate and to get the most out of their athletes and few coaches in the world could do that as well as you guys did uh, throughout your careers and I know that's certainly uh, what you were able to do with with myself personally um, so thank you guys so much uh, for for all you contributed to so many high schoolers over the course of your careers uh, and you certainly impacted the lives of a lot of young men. Uh, and I know you certainly did for mine. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, I hope nothing uh, but the best for you guys going forward and whatever your plans are in the future. And I look forward to hopefully being able to speak to you guys at some point in person. Thank you again. Hey, Coach Martin, Coach Helberg, and Coach Graff. It's Alex Minuga. Uh, I ran track for you guys for four years. I graduated in 2016. I want to say thank you for being great coaches and excellent individuals. I think the thing I will remember most about our time together is just how healthy the team environment was. I don't think there was ever a time where one individual thought they were bigger than the team. Furthermore, individuals joined the team with no prior experience in track and ended up staying all four years and loving it. And that was because y'all were so welcoming and open. For example, I still think about that story with Javon Parker, where he was mistook for a pale paker and asked to come out the track, even though he had no experience with it, and ended up loving it and staying all four years. I think that story basically says everything about how great the program was and how great you guys were as individuals and coaches. With that said, I hope y'all are staying safe, doing well, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Hey, Coach Martin, Coach Graff, and Coach Helberg. Bob McLaren here. I heard all three of you guys were uh, retiring this year, so I just wanted to say thank you for everything you guys have done. You, uh, you taught me how to uh, run fast and win big, and uh, I had some of the best memories uh, uh, in high school running track for, for Wheaton North. And, uh, I can't think of anybody else who deserves retirement more than you three. So uh, thank you very much for everything that you do and that you did. And uh, congratulations. Enjoy retirement. Hello, coaches Martin, Helberg, and Graf. Um, you can see I'm recording this from my basement um, since we're all working from home these days. Um, I heard about your retirement this year. and. I just wanted to say, um, con you know, congratulations and uh, thanks for all your wonderful years of service. Um, what a time it was in the mid 1990s. Uh, the four year streak of conference track and field titling titles was absolutely outstanding. Um, it was wonderful to be a part of that team, and uh, it was it was great to see um, uh, the program that you'd already built up, and to you know, it was inspiring to see these older athletes. Um, I still have the commemorative watch from those days. So there it is. Uh, <laughs> what a what a pack season it was each year. And uh, it, you know, I still remember how, how, so you were able to recruit so many athletes. It blew my mind, something like 200 athletes and we'd all be running around the, uh, the halls of the, the school before they had the field house. Um, those were fun days. Um, and then uh, and then Coach Helberg, um, was he was so well known for running the fastest meets around he had that down to his science it was like clockwork um and took a lot of took a lot of volunteers too uh and then coach martin um <laughs> i will never forget 
the endless repeats on the big oval. Um, <laughs> I really learned what what uh, what it meant to persevere. I think is the the best way to put it. Um, it and it kind of woke me up to what real training was like. Um, but boy, did that pay off, and and it made our racing so consistent. Um, and and uh, Coach Martin, I, I still have a lot of the the sheets that uh, you produced, all those rankings, and it's a great. Um, every once in a while, I pull those out, and it's a great remembrance of former teammates, um, and it's evidence of the time that you spent um, when we weren't around, um, thinking about us and uh, and 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 what you know what you had planned for us. Uh, one of my favorite things you did um, seemed like kind of a small thing at the time, but um, you, you know, you, you'd tell us stories of former Wheaton North athletes, um, and I just thought that was really cool, you know. And, and you, even at that time, you had some history behind you. Um, so, uh, coaches, uh, I want to thank you all for the energy you poured into helping us athletes be the best we could be. May you be blessed for your faithfulness to all the to all the athletes over the years and may you find good community and enjoyment in whatever paths you find yourself on next in life. Hey, Coach Martin, Coach Helberg, and Coach Graf. This is Dan Belisich from Class of 95. I heard you guys were retiring and I must say, if anything, you guys picked a hell of a year to retire, that's for sure. You know, I had heard about a week ago you were retiring and I was trying to think about what I wanted to say in this video and it occurred to me that when I started to think about all the memories I had and all the pieces of advice and little lessons I've gotten from each of you over the four years I was at Wheaton North, I realized I couldn't put them all in a video without taking up the entire video itself and I wanted to try to keep this brief and hopefully meaningful. So at the very least, I'm just going to say this. The best memories I have of high school, hands down, without a question, are because of track and cross country. And I have you guys to thank for that. Coach Martin said something to me once uh, uh, during cross country practice. And he had said that uh, if you learn anything here, I hope that you at least get a lifelong appreciation for running and a lifelong love of running. And I graduated high school 25 years ago, and I am still running. And I think about that often. I think about you guys often. And I, I smile when I think about Helberg laughing and cracking one of his jokes and uh, us getting ready to warm up for practice and him going, high knees, first group, go. Last group, go. And then, of course, I have Coach Martin back out in the uh, course and running along. And out of nowhere, he'll just go, come on, Danny, sprint, 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 sprint. And Coach Graf just always with a big smile on his face whenever I would come by, even though I wasn't a jumper. But uh, he was still always encouraging and always welcoming. And I hope you guys have a great time in retirement. Congratulations on a long and prosperous career. Um, if any of you are on Facebook, please look me up. Um, I would love to keep in touch. And uh, good luck and God bless. And thanks so much for everything. All right, take care, guys. Hello, Coach Helberg. Dan Urban here, uh, class of 2002. You were my freshman football coach in the fall of 1998. Uh, my favorite memory was we were playing, we had a good team. We went 8-1 and one that year. We were down 21 nothing to Naperville North. And uh, I remember, Coach Helberg, you, you never swore. You never, ever swore. But during this game, down 21 nothing at halftime, you brought everyone in for the halftime huddle and came out with a, you know, Guys, I never thought you could play like shit, but right now you're playing like bullshit. And everyone looked at each other like, oh my God, this must be so serious. This is, this is crazy. And sure enough, we came back and we won the game 22 to 21. So that's just that strategic use of the swearing, I just always thought was brilliant. And I have to think that maybe, uh, maybe, Cody, maybe you had that, that in your pocket the whole season. Maybe that's something you pulled out like once a season for every team. But either way, I thought it was brilliant. It certainly uh, worked for that game. And Coach Helbert, you were one of my favorite coaches. I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, you, you're going to call it a career now. A great career. Happy retirement. And I'll see you around. Coach Helbert, Coach Martin, Coach Graham, I would like to start by saying thank you to all three of you. But that's not enough. And I don't know what else. You know, you guys deserve so much more than 
the way how you guys are retiring. This crazy time that we're going through. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. You guys are one of the most great people I've ever met in my life. I want to say it's been 10 years for me now, but I still thank you guys every day for helping me, for giving me the chance, for believing in me, for who I am until today. It's because of you guys. I've been giving me the chance to be able to coach with you guys. Thank you so much. You guys mean so much to our program, and you will always be forever. Coach Martin, Coach Kraft, Coach Halper. Love you all three. Thank you so much. God bless you. Daniel Old Celeste. Coach Graf, Coach Martin, and Coach Helberg, just wanted to wish you guys a happy retirement. It's Danny Stino here. Uh, I would do pretty much anything to lace up the the uh, spikes one more time and run for Wheat North uh, track. It's You guys were so amazing as coaches, and thank you so much for the support um, and some of the best times of my life. Hey, Coach Helberg, Coach Graf, Coach Martin. I want to thank you guys for the way that you've led the Wheat North track and field program for all these many years. Uh, looking back at my own track career in high school, I can see what an important part that was of my years at Wheat North. Um, and that's in large part um, because of the positive, fun, and committed atmosphere that you guys played such a crucial part in forming. So I want to thank you for that, and uh, I want to wish you the best in whatever comes next in your lives, and I know there'll be some huge shoes to fill over at Wheat North. Thanks. God bless. Hey, Coach Helber, Coach Martin, and Coach Graf. I just want to first of all say congratulations on an amazing career coaching. It's It was an honor to be coached by you guys, and I really enjoyed all of it. Um, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the fond memories I have of track and just shaping me as a person um, on in track and on the oval and um, just in general. You guys have meant so much to me over the four years and some of my greatest high school memories are from track, from my Allstate alternate shirt to just senior year in general. is an amazing year with all of you guys teaching me and me growing so much. So I just want to say thank you for all you've provided and given me and the rest in that the stuff I remember for the rest of my life and I just want to say congratulations on amazing careers. Coach Helberg, Coach Martin and Coach Graf, I want to start off by saying thank you um, for everything you've done not only for me uh, but for the whole sport of track and field. Um, you, have, you are all undoubtedly the greatest coaches I've ever had and ever will have. Um, I'm forever grateful that I was able to be coached and influenced by all three of you. And you're all uh, absolutely phenomenal men that have done so much for me and, and, and others. Uh, Coach Graf, you have carried undying enthusiasm and passion in the classroom and practice and at meets. You enlighten the moods of everything, of everyone you are around uh, and nothing be coming to practice and hearing you all, it's time for some pilots. And then you try to hit the timer right on the dot. I won't ever forget practices with the, uh, with the boom squad. And uh, I want to thank you for everything you've done. Coach Martin, you were so helpful to me in learning how to actually run because like, I knew how to run before joining track, but um, not properly. So you, probably, you, uh, you taught me how to do a proper block start and how to fix my form and our mechanics. Um, you were such a kind person and great coach, and you always believed in me and pushed me to be my best, and I'm so thankful for that. I miss our little pep talks. Uh, after ra after my races, and you have been a great influence on me as a person too, because of the kindness that you show, is something I, I strive for. Along with also having big arms and running through the line and not to the line, which carries a remarkably larger meaning than that of just a track race. Coach Helberg, I'm not sure where to start. You're an incredible man, and the wisdom and spirit you instill in me, and all of your athletes, uh, was amazing. I, of course, still remember your motivational talks before practice, in between reps of, of our workouts and pre-meet. Uh, during practice and meets at Augie, I still think of all the things that you say and have said, um, and I, I use that to get me and my teammates going. You've influenced me in countless ways on and off the track. I will not forget anything that I've learned from you, and I can confidently say that I would not be half the runner I am today without the guidance and coach, coaching that you've put onto me. I carry it proudly, too, because I know that I... Um, cause I know that I've received coaching from one of the greatest men, um, in the nation and coaches in the nation. 
I will not forget how much you believed in me and the other guys that we could always, we always achieve anything we wanted to. And all we had to do to run fast was just to run fast. I won't forget the, the famed outstanding shout after uh, PR in a race. Thank you for all you've done for me, coach. Good luck in retirement to, to you all. And thank you again. Being one of your athletes was a real pleasure. Jim Martin, congratulations on your retirement. Our first uh, introduction was in biology class, uh, the winter quarter of 1971-72. And then first track introduction was the next spring when as a sophomore I tried to run the 880 and uh, led off the mile relay until thank God you found somebody faster. Well, my favorite uh, memory was uh, 30 years after that when you and I were standing next to each other at the two and a half mile mark in the state cross country course um, during the 3A girls race when Sammy Pollock ran by and it became pretty clear that we're going to have an individual champion and then the rest of the field went by and oh my gosh we had a team champion too and that's still the uh, only team championship for a non-co-op Wheaton North team in a sport other than football. And it also, with the boys there, um, ushered in a era of excellence that continues to this day. The boys hadn't qualified since 1976, and the next fall they qualified for the state, and now they're a threat to qualify every year. While I never uh, continued my running career outside of high school, um, the love that you guys gave me for the sport um, maybe continue to stay involved in it to the point that, you know, I won wards from the Illinois Track and, or Track and Cross Country Coaches Association and from USA Track and Field for Career Service. So, you know, thanks to you, thanks to all of the other coaches at Wheaton North. I'll be a Falcon Harrier forever. Falcons, Falcons, loyal and true. Congratulations again, Jim. Thanks. Hey, Coach Halberg, Coach Martin, and Coach Graff. I just want to say uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. You guys are the best coaches Every single day after school, I look forward to seeing you guys, having you coach me, Coach Helberg yelling, big arms, big arms. You know, it's the best feeling in the world to have the best coaches for three years. You know, it's improved me as a person. I went from a scrawny little freshman kid and look how much I've improved. It's, it's crazy. And I'm, it's sad that this season ends like this, but hopefully we can come back next season, pick right off where we left off and... I'll see you guys on the flip. Coach Martin and Helberg, hello from John Kinkley, class 98, quarantining here in Chicago. Uh, you've all wished me congrats on my racing and I'm proud to do the same for you as you approach your retirement. Um, they asked to share some memories, uh, where to begin um, for one thing, most normal high school students TP one another's lawns, but of course we had that crazy flaming toilet tradition. Uh, who could forget it? Um, other memories, um, apart from the great moments in racing, uh, state qualifications, whatnot. Um, I remember Shaughnessy rolling the tire down the hill. That was pretty, uh, pretty epic. Um, what else? Oh yeah, also one time I broke my PR racing the 800 and uh, Helberg was calling out who was getting those uh, rare gray t-shirts and uh, you said you said John and I stood up and then you said Aderholt and uh, I had to sit down all red-faced. Uh, of course everyone gave me a hard time about that. Um, anyway, <clears throat> you made a lifelong runner, runner out of me. I still do 5 and 10 Ks and pretty much daily jogs. So um, thank you so much for that and also appreciate the value of hard work and discipline. You taught me the value of sticking to something. Um, great life lessons. So um, thanks for the memories. 
you're two great guys. Uh, wish you lots of happiness and travel when all this pandemic business is over. Uh, take care and hope to stay in touch. Bye. Hey coaches, Josh here. Um, I hope you're well and enjoying your retirement. Uh, I'm sorry your last season had to end the way that it did, but um, maybe the coaching bug is still there and um, you'll come back next season for uh, um, redemption. Um, but I just wanted to give a personal thank you for being the best coaches, mentors, and above all, friends. Um, you guys have instilled the track spirit within me um, enough to make me want to run for another four years. Um, I'm a part of the club track team at the University of Illinois. Um, I ended my season with a, um, a win and a PR in the 60 hurdles at the Illinois Club Relays meet, which is cool. Um, but thank you for seeing the potential within me and helping me to unlock it, not only on the track, but in general. Um, I feel like a lot of my inspiration has come from my time with the program. Uh, and for that, um, I can attribute that to you guys. So thank you. Um, but I hope to keep in touch and feel free to reach out um, if you need anything or want to talk. Um, I'll be here. So wishing you all the best. Peace. Hi there, Kevin Reimer, class of 2002, Coach Graff, Coach Helberg, Coach Martin, congratulations on your coaching retirement. I was fortunate enough to be able to call you all coach during my time at Wheaton North, and I look back on that time with a lot of favorable memories. Uh, some that stick out are the, the banging, the thunderous banging of the trash cans during the 4x4 of the Proviso West meet every year, seemingly PRing every time I stepped on the track alongside Lake Ellen at Lombard West and continuously beating the snot out of Wheaton Warville South and the other Coach Helberg. Uh, being a distance runner, I spent a lot of time with Coach Martin and uh, you had given me a couple pieces of advice that stick with me to this day. One is be dumb like a horse and run, not to overthink things, just go out and do it. And the other is it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So as you are all approaching the finish line of your coaching careers, I'm Hoping you're able to, you were able to finish it off with a, a strong kick at the end. I want to send a heartfelt thank you and a sincere thank you to the time and the dedication that you've put in over the years. And last but not least, cheers. Okay, hello. My name is Mike Belmaris, class of 98, the great 98. Congratulations, Coach Helberg, Coach Graff, Coach Martin. Coach Graff, we never had the pleasure of working together, but you were my teacher, and you were awesome, very impactful. Um, I still remember it, so I have great memories. Still give a great oral interpretation. I killed it, because I'm dope. Coach Helberg, um, congratulations. You were awesome, awesome. Uh, freshman year, track, four years. Um, we had a good relationship all four years of high school. Um, awesome. Um, I'm gonna, you know what, there's one thing that you've said um, that I have, I've passed on to my kids. I have, I've coached, um, I coached eight years of high school football. Um, some of those years at Libertyville High School, it's another high school um, in Midland, Michigan. Then I coached 12 years of track also in Libertyville, uh, Libertyville High School. Uh, the shot put in discus throwers. Then I also did the same thing in Michigan for the high schools I coached there. And I have told everyone the same thing that you told us. And we were, it was, I think it was, it was track, mm, it's football. Track, I don't know. But we were sitting in the bleachers, uh, in the, the stands, uh, and you're in the track. And you said, I forget the context, but I'm going to tell you this as I lean into the camera. And still don't really have any idea what it meant, but it was impactful. And it goes like this. Don't screw the pooch. You know what? That's all I got to say. Congratulations. Hey, Coach Helberg, Coach Martin, and Coach Graff. Just want to wish you guys a, a happy retirement. 
and just want to thank you for all the help and all the coaching over the years and we really couldn't have accomplished everything we have without you guys so we we wish you the best of luck and love you very much say bye bye <laughs> thank you Hi, Coach Hauber, Coach Graf, and Coach Martin. Uh, congratulations on your retirement. Super happy for you. I, you know, always tell people how thankful I am that I was part of the We North Track and Field program and how, you know, proud I am to be a Falcon and to be part of that program. And it was because of the, the coaching staff and the culture that you, you know, set as coaches and the example that you, you know, led for your athletes and I appreciate that I appreciate everything you did for me and all of the other athletes and you know being a part of Wee North track and field will always be one of the you know times that I cherish most in my life so congratulations on your retirement and Wee North is definitely losing a lot of great coaches but uh, congratulations and you deserve it and uh, hopefully I'll see you uh, around soon have a good one All right, to the entire Wheat North coaching staff, I know you guys are heading out the door, but when one door closes, another one opens. Thank you for everything you've done. You've given me fundamentals that have echoed in my life. If you can't tell, out on the trail right now, something that started when I first met you guys. So thank you, and here's to the next step. Hey, Coach Helberg, Coach Martin, Coach Graf, this is Reed Kehoe. Class of 2001, uh, cross country, 800, four by eight, four by four. Uh, actually just back from a run now. I uh, thought this was a good time to jump on, say congratulations and best wishes on your retirement. And uh, I think more than anything, thank you for everything that you did. Um, when I look back on my time with you guys as coaches, um, the thing that stands out is the lessons that you guys taught us. And I think it was clear to us that you cared so much about the athlete and the student uh, and the person um, and that the lessons that you guys were, were teaching, you know, maybe a 16, 17, 18 year old might not have picked up on everything you were saying, but you know, you say those things enough, the lessons get stuck in your head. And even now as an adult, um, you know, I find myself drawing on some of those things that, that you guys taught us about uh, commitment, about dedication, um, and I think most importantly about self accountability, um, you know, coach Martin, you had so many good quips, but I think the one that, that stood out for me the most that, that has stuck with me is woulda, coulda, shoulda, didn't, you know, there, there are no excuses in life. There are no excuses in running. Um, and, and again, thank you guys so much for the lessons. I, I wish you all the best. Uh, cheers. Hey coaches, um, I heard the news that you guys won't be coming back next year and I'm pretty bummed, just wanted to say a couple things. Um, I am very grateful for all of the, not only track techniques that you've taught me, but all the valuable life lessons that I've been taught. I've been taught many important things like determination, perseverance, and things such as those that it's helped me in the academic field and just in life really um i really don't know where i'd be without helberg martin graf and my parents and i are just super thankful for you guys and thank you for all that you've done Man, it's bittersweet being a part of a video like this. Um, uh, I mean, seriously, talk about the end of a legacy. Um, I just want to start off by saying, you know, being a part of Wheaton North's program over like the years I was there, it's just an indescribable experience. I think it's hard to really reference when you're a kid what you're a part of um, uh, until after you've graduated from the program. But even competing in college and just even in life as a man, there hasn't been a single day that's gone by that I haven't thought about the impact that the Wheaton North coaching staff has had on me. And, um, you know, I think thinking back on it, 
the main thing I'll take away from that is even though they helped shape me be a great athlete, at the end of the day, I'm walking away from that program being an even greater man, and I'll carry all the lessons that those men taught me throughout my years in the program. So I just want to say thank you and just best of wishes to Coach Graf, Martin, and Helberg. I'll never forget you guys. Hey, Coach Graf. Uh, I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Uh, and I want you to know how thankful I am for you and for the impact that you made in my life. And I, every time I think of high school, I think of the times that we spent um, in the, um, the indoor track and field, uh, in the, uh, what do they call that, indoor track, jumping in the sand, um, doing our drills and uh, jumping and tap, tapping the backboard and doing all the different drills with you guys and outside on the track. I just, those group of guys, um, you know, Stephen Papirski also being a believer, knowing that you're a believer, that like, camaraderie was so encouraging to me. And my freshman and sophomore year were probably pretty, the, the hardest parts of my schooling, I think. Um, I think I felt a little bit out of place like I didn't I didn't have a place um I didn't know a lot of believers at school I felt like I was kind of alone but I knew I wasn't alone at, at track practice and you made me feel really comfortable you were a great encouragement um not just that you know being a great athlete but also a good kid uh, a young man and I'll never forget that um so I just want to say thank you uh the impact that you've made in my life has been bigger than I think you know um and then just being able to spend quality time with you junior and senior year when I've kind of understood more of the basics of high jump and triple jump and stuff and you know to go to the state meet with you that was really really special um and I will never forget that so I just I want to say congratulations um I also want to encourage you and um read you something here out of Psalm 125 um it says, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forevermore. Um, and I've seen you texted me and said that some challenging things have happened over the past few months. A, a big thing being your brother um, passing away, that's really, that's really hard. Um, I, I can't say that I know what that's like, um, but I watched my uh, mother-in-law grieve uh, when her mother passed, and that was hard. So um, I could imagine that being difficult. Um, and even just uh, not being able to finish out the last year um, of the track season, that's, that's really tough. I thought of you guys um, as soon as I heard that high schools were canceled and stuff, and... Um, I mean, I know that you feel for the for the guys not being able to finish their season um, and you not be able to see them the same way that you could before or be a part of those graduations. Um, but the Lord knows and the Lord sees those things um, and he cares. He does care. Um, he knows the number of hairs in your head, um, all the white hairs in your head. He knows... Um, you know, when you wake up, when you go to sleep, when you lie down. Um, it says that he hems us in behind him before he lays his hand upon us. And that those um, words are too great for us. Um, those are blessings that um, are so wonderful. And so I just want to tell you that I love you, Coach Graf. And I am so thankful for the time that God provided to me with you in high school. And uh, man, it was such a blast and uh yeah i i hope that you enjoy playing golf hope you find a sweet side job at a golf course you should apply at cantini it's a pretty sweet spot um but uh yeah i, I miss you i really hope that we can connect when i'm back in chicago um so i love you coach graf congratulations and uh i miss you a lot bye hey coach helberg just want to give you an outstanding first off, right off the bat. Uh, I want to say congratulations on completing many years at Wheaton North High School. And um, obviously right now it's kind of bittersweet. Um, 
you know, I really wish that it, the season could have ended a, a different way for you guys. Um, but man, I, I think back on my time at, at Wheaton North and, uh, I think about the track team. I think about, um, the afternoon spent with you guys in the field house and out, uh, on the, at the, on the track outside and just, the, the all the practices and the track meets, the late, the late track meets at York, um, county track meets qualifying for state when I technically didn't make it in terms of my height uh I remember I remember being late back to the bus my junior year and you were pretty upset <laughs> that was that was my bad I was I was standing there with coach major and then the next thing I know he wasn't there and then I was like shoot and then coach Martin came and got me and he was like you better hustle coach coach Helberg is upset and you were and then a year later, uh, it was at the, at the state meet again. This time I was the last person on the bus. But it was because I was getting my medal. And it was like thunderstorming. That was crazy. Um, man, there are so many good memories of, of track practice and meets. And um, something I always appreciated about you was uh, you were the coach but the way that you treated the other, you were the head coach, but the way that you treated the other coaches was um, respectful, kind. Um, you asked for help from uh, Coach Martin and Coach Graff on different things, and you guys worked so well as a team, and I, I always appreciated that about you. And then even the way I saw you interact with your students, um, you know, outside of, the, of track practice and the meets was awesome. Uh, I look up to that. And, and then having you just as a coach um, and you being very understanding and encouraging, um, working with athletes that have, were freshmen like me that didn't know um, how to do a proper handoff, um, where, to, where to go at my first meet um, or all things like that. And you were so patient and all the way to encouraging, you know, guys um, for the state meet who could get scholarships to, to run it different colleges and I'm just so grateful for that and yeah when I think about my high school experience I think about the track team I think about you in particular um you know you let me design a couple t-shirts that was super helpful for my development and learning I love graphic design still um I yeah it's it was just so much fun there's so many good memories at the field house and on the track and uh, with you and the different meets. And so I, yeah, I just want to say thank you. Um, I just appreciate all the hard work that you put in, uh, the many years of service. Maybe we didn't get a lot of respect at the, at the high school, um, as an organization as we should have, uh, you know, compared to the football program, which was good under coach Rex and terrible every other year. Um, but, uh, you know, year in, year out, you coached us and we performed really well and, everyone loved it um i mean i knew very very few kids who didn't enjoy being coached by you and uh me and me included i loved it so i just thank you mr halberg coach halberg um i really hope that retirement is good to you that you feel um proud of your accomplishments because i w i would be proud if i were you um the many years that you put in all the young men that you impacted and uh yeah, I just, I wish you the best. I'm praying for you. I pray the Lord bless you uh, and keep you, that his face would shine upon you. Uh, he'd be gracious to you uh, and he'd bring you peace. And so, um, yeah, thank you, coach. And uh, I love you. I miss you. And I, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Uh, I'm in Minneapolis, but uh, we'll be down in Chicago uh, every now and then. So thanks, coach. Bye. Hey, Coach Martin. I just want to say thank you. I want to say um, congratulations on retirement. Uh, I miss you a lot. I I look back on my high school years and think of the track team. I think of you teaching us how to do the proper uh, handoff for the relays. Uh, I think of you telling us that our back needs to be sweaty um, after our warm up in order for us to be ready for our race. And I remember uh, I have a picture on my Facebook page of you and I looking at my splits from like my 
I think it was my f freshman year of some uh, race I did with Anthony Rocco. And uh, yeah, just so appreciative of the time and the effort that you put in uh, to work with us. Um, you know, you you worked, I don't know how many years you, I don't even know what the stats are, but um, a long time with the Wheaton North track team as a head coach, as assisting Coach Helberg. Um, man, the impact that you made on that group of young men in that community is awesome. Uh, I'm so grateful for the work that you put in that you were there. Uh, it was a lot of fun to spend time with you guys. And uh, yeah, I just have a lot of great memories of um, practice in the field house, practicing our starts with our eyes closed and the little wooden clapper thing. Um, yeah, practicing uh, the the handoffs outside, the batons in the in the old, you know, bin, and um, yeah, just so many good memories. And I remember, I told this to Coach Halberg in his video, but I remember uh, you coming and finding me at at the end of the state meet my junior year. So this would have been uh, 2010. I had been staying with Coach Major, and then he he left, and I didn't realize it, and I was just standing there and then you came and found me and you were like you better hustle back to the bus because coach helberg is not happy because i remember he had said when we're done you know where do you go and we're all like to the bus where do you go to the bus and i wasn't there um but you came and found me and i appreciated that um but so many good memories coach martin um thank you so much for all the work that you did um, all the times you held the stopwatch and called up the splits and encouraged us to keep running, to keep at it. Um, all the times that you uh, just supported us when we were injured or tired or whatever it was, uh, you were you were there constantly and you were definitely a father figure uh, to me and a father figure to all the other guys. And I just, I'm really thankful for that. Um, I just, I pray the Lord bless you in your retirement from uh, coaching uh, I pray that you would find something else that you really enjoy, um, that you get great satisfaction from. I, pr I just I pray that for you. I pray you find something else that's really fun to do, um, make another great impact in, in more lives. And so, um, I just want to say congratulations. I really, ho I really, I wish that it hadn't happened this way. That the virus hadn't put a damper on all these things and cut things short, but. Man, you guys deserve a lot of celebration. Um, you, Coach Halper, Coach Graf, and you guys deserve it. And you've done so much work. And uh, I'm so grateful. So thank you, Coach Martin. And uh, congratulations. Miss you. Coach Graf. What's up, Coach Graf? I ain't talking a long time, Coach Graf. Heard you retiring, man. Uh... You know, have a happy retirement. You know, you already know, man. You mean you mean the world to me, man. You showed me, you know, how to long jump. You taught me how to long jump, how to be the best jumper I could be, how to be the best man I could be, person I could be. You know, you taught me a lot. Uh, you know, junior year was something special. You know, coming back from the surgery and then you know what we did was just crazy off one jump. So. You always be the my you know best coach I've ever had in my entire life. You know Noah, I know Noah's there too right now, but you know, like I said coach, I don't really you know I'm kind of speechless really, but uh, like I said man, I love you man, and uh, you know have a happy retirement. Coach Hubbard, Zach here. Uh, I know we haven't talked in a long time, and you know I just want to wish you a happy retirement. You know, you know you mean a lot to me. You know honestly. You're, you know, you taught me how to really love the sport of track and field. Uh, taught me everything I know to this day, you know, just, just the basics about track and field. One of the best coaches I've ever had in my entire life. And I just want to tell you right now, I sincerely apologize for state senior year. You know, you know, I'm still, it still hurts me to this day, you know what I'm saying? Because we definitely should have won, you know. Uh, it's just unfortunate what happened. You know, obviously, 2013, our 2013 class was the best team. And we definitely should have won that year. You know, we deserved it. But uh, you deserve it, honestly. But uh, like I said, thank you, Coach, for everything you've done for me. And, you know, 
I love you, man. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. We want to thank you, Coach Helbert, Coach Martin, and Coach Graff for all that you have done uh, for the Wheat North track team and the Wheat North community. Um, I want to specifically thank you for um, the way that you helped uh, catalyze uh, my love for track um, that, that led me to continue on at the collegiate level. Um, I just want to recall a few memories um, from, the, from the years at Wheat North. Uh, first, Coach Helberg, all the grueling workouts and the 300 repeats and lactate days that I did with you um, definitely were um, obviously helpful for my athletic ability, but also for um, my personal formation. Um, Coach Martin, all the block starts that uh, you helped me with, uh, always remembering big arms now too in college. Um, and then finally, Coach Graff, um, thank you for uh, coaching me for my few years of triple jumping and being a part of the boom squad. <laughs> I loved every bit of it. Um, so just wanna thank you for uh, all that you did uh, in my life and the way that you ran your program, uh, focusing it on every single athlete, regardless of a talent and uh, the desire to help us um, become better people in the process. I've been a great fan of Wheat North Track for a long time. I'm grateful to have uh, run under Coach Martin for my junior and senior year at Wheat North. Uh, and my senior year of high school was Coach Helberg's first year as a teacher and a coach at Wheat North. And I have uh, wonderful memories of uh, being a sprinter and a jumper um, for Wheat North back in the mid 80s. Uh, I've had a great honor and privilege to watch my two boys run track under uh, Coach Martin and Coach Helberg um, over these past few years. Uh, thank you for the great program that you have, uh, as Andrew said, in which you care for each individual athlete as a person, um, as, a, as an athlete, as a student, uh, you have a great program and have left a really wonderful legacy. Uh, and I'm, I'm grateful for all that you do and all you have done uh, for so many uh, athletes at Wheaton North and so many uh, families over the years. Uh, best wishes on your retirement. Uh, and we look forward to still seeing you from time to time uh, on the Oval. From Les Orlo to Mike Harlan to Coach Rowan Potter, we've been blessed to be part of the Wheaton North Athletic family. Coaches Helberg, Martin and Graf, on behalf of Nancy and the boys and I, thank you from, for the countless hours of kindness and dedication. Thank you, coaches. You were some of the best at motivating us for every single meet. Um, I always felt confident um, that I could do my best at, uh, going into every meet, indoors and outdoors. Um, and I'll never forget all the the great stories you guys had on our drives down the state. Those are some of my favorite memories. Thanks coaches for all your hard work and dedication. It was pretty cool to know that I was with some of the best coaches in the world. Uh, thank you for a great four years. Thank you coaches. Um, even though you guys weren't coaching me specifically in my uh, events, I knew you guys were always supporting me on the sidelines and uh, you guys cared about me no matter what. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for a great four years. Coach Martin, Coach Graff, and Coach Helberg. Um, I just wanted to say that I am so grateful for the impact that you guys had in my life uh, during those four years. Three and a half, I guess, technically. Um, but yeah, I can't begin to tell you um, just all the lessons that were taught through your guys' coaching um, the, the ways that track, I, I guess, and I'm sure you guys knew like that my parents were getting divorced and separating in my junior and senior year. And track was one of the very few constants that I had, uh, during that time. And you guys were always there after school and always at practice and, um, yeah, and I, I really can't thank you guys enough because that was a really, really hard time. Um, 
but I knew that track was going to be like a constant and that I was going to have fantastic coaches who were always going to be there for me. Um, whether it was something to do with track, something to do with school, um, or even to just like listen. Um, so yeah, I just want to say that I am super grateful for the impact that you guys have had on my life. Um, and I'm honestly just sad for the track runners who are coming up next, uh, because they honestly, they, they don't, they don't get the privilege that I had to be coached by you guys. Um, so yeah, I also just wanted to show you, I still have the first shirt that I ever got. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I totally, I still take pride in the fact that I was a Falcons track runner. Um, and the, and I definitely take pride in the fact that I was coached by you guys. So I'm really grateful, grateful for y'all. You guys definitely played a massive part, uh, in making me into the man that I am today. Um, and I just pray that you guys would have the best of luck in your future. Thank you so much. What's up? This is AJ Harris. I just want to say congratulations to Coach Martin, Coach Helberg, and Coach Graf for finally getting to retire. Because y'all have been there since the 50s. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> I just want to say congratulations. It's well done, well deserved. You guys have taught us so much from before, way before me, obviously, but um, it was great to have you guys. You guys were amazing teachers, amazing coaches, and I'm so thankful that we had you um, while we were growing up and through our lives because you've taught us so much. Um, I just once again want to say congratulations and enjoy this next chapter of your life. Thank you. What's up, guys? I am Adam Harris, and I would like to say congratulations to Coach Graf, Coach Martin, and Coach Helberg. It is about time that you all leave Wheaton North in track and field. You guys have done so much for Wheaton North and so much for the community and so much for Illinois track and field in general. You really It's about time you guys get some good rest. You definitely deserve it. You've produced plenty of champions and, and I guess, an Olympian. And, you know, NCAA greats and everything. And you guys, you guys really know what you're doing. And I love the fact that you were able to pass, you know, the education down to the kids and their kids and everybody else's kids. And really, you guys have done enough. And I love it that you're finally getting your time off. Please enjoy it. Enjoy. Have fun. Goodbye. Congratulations once again. Peace out. Hi, this is Dave Overhelman from the Daily Herald, and uh, yes, I am reading this message. I'm much uh, not very good off the cuff, uh, and as I wave this thing around, it is not a microphone. It is a uh, ceremonial baton that uh, Coach Helberg gave me uh, for the 2007 uh, DuPage County track meet, um, one of the many great things that uh, Coach has done for me. Uh, when I was told that I'd be switching from covering baseball and soccer to track in 2001. I think I cried. Um, I had no interest or knowledge in track and field, and other than uh, other than seeing it in the Olympics, uh, I'd never seen it before. Uh, with on, within only a few years, though, it became my favorite sport to cover, and the primary reason for that is because of people like Don Helberg, Jim Martin, and Rob Graff. Um, with just a tremendous staff. Uh, Don and his staff at Wheaton North were among the, uh, the first people who really welcomed me into the track and field community. Uh, no question I had was too stupid, uh, although I'm sure plenty of them were. Uh, these gentlemen never spoke down to me. They always encouraged me. And while um, in competition, they were, they were plenty competitive. Uh, their sportsmanship and good nature always came first. And who else could I get gardening tips from but Coach Martin? Uh, when in 2008, I won a recognition award by the Illinois High School Track and Cross Country uh, Coaches Association. I don't think it was because I was any better or did a better job than many of the other writers who covered the sports. Uh, I believe it was because of the nomination and urging of Coach Helberg and his staff um, that saw that I got that award. 
Um, and I'm sure that, uh, and I certainly hope that I will continue to see you gentlemen on and off, on and or off the track uh, in the years to come. I'm indebted to your kindness and I congratulate you, uh, all of you guys, on your tremendous coaching and personally for your guidance and your friendship. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hey, Don, Jim, and Rob. Just wanted to say congratulations on retirement. Hope you enjoy it. Been a lot of fun coaching against you guys these last several decades. We will see you around the track. Good luck. Good morning, guys. I just want to take a few minutes this morning to uh, wish three of my favorite people in the world, Don, Rob, and Jim, uh, congratulations and happy retirement. Um, I think we've tried to show each other since we worked together uh, beginning years and years ago um, how much we cared for each other and how much we cared for the boys and how much we cared uh, for the program. My life at Wheaton North uh, was not always the happiest, but coaching track with you guys um, certainly is one of the fondest memories I have and something I will never, ever forget. Um, I know the 2020 season is uh, thoroughly uh, forgettable, but um, as time passes and we uh, move beyond it all, we'll remember those good times and how much uh, we laughed uh, about all kinds of things and uh, the stories that uh, we created, the memories we created, and the love that we shared. So guys, know I'm thinking of you. I'm proud to have coached with you. And I'm really, really proud to call you friends. I love you guys.